Hey guys, this is JD here at uh, Stepping Stone Guitar Studios, and today I wanted to talk to, to you all about purchasing your first guitar. It should be an exciting thing. Hey, you're going out to get your first guitar. And um, for parents that are looking to get their um, uh, child their first guitar, um, they feel they're old enough to start playing and, and learning, and it's something they want to do. Think of it as a uh, as part of their education, and, and, uh, and this goes for the older players as well. Someone that might um, be just picking up the guitar, and you know, at, a, at an older age, which is good. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, do not scrimp on uh, purchasing your guitar. Spend a fair amount of money and uh, get something you're going to be happy with. Um, I know resale is, is uh, kind of down. You, you purchase a, a new guitar. If you um, don't think about, you're not going to get a whole lot on the resale value. Uh, and purchasing a used instrument is also an option, but it's very important. Let me say, it's, it, and I know it's been said a lot of times on YouTube, and um, is to um, shop locally and find a local luthier that works on guitars because all guitars are eventually are going to need some work so it's very important to find someone locally that works on guitars and can help you if you know an older musician or someone that's been playing a long time you can ask them for help where they where do they get their guitars fixed at um, a lot. I do a lot of setups myself, but there are, there are a few things I don't have the tools, and and I send off to the local luthier to have done. He's just more set up to do it. Um, so it's uh, like I said, it's important to get something that that you like. You, you need to identify with it, and um, most of the time that's going to be like your favorite artist. Think about who your favorite artist is. What type of music do you listen to? And what do you think about what you see yourself with? What type of guitar do you see yourself with? And um, I really think that either electric or acoustic is good to start with. The electric may be, electric guitar may be a little easier because the strings tend to be uh, thinner and closer to the neck. You don't have to push them down as far and the strings are easier. So I, I would say, uh, if most of the time the electric is going to be a little easier to play like I said the strings the gauge of the strings are smaller and the distance from the strings to the frets which are these these little bars here where you push them down to is closer you don't have to push them as far so I would probably recommend that the, the average person to start on electric the amount of money you spend is about the same. Um, you can get a nice Fender Squire. They're pretty decent guitars. They're about around $99. You can get a pretty decent practice amp for about $99 to $150. So you're looking at about $250. And the same goes for an acoustic. I think to get a decent acoustic, you're going to spend between $200 and $300. Um, it's, uh, it's, it, it's, and I have to say it's very important to get something that you like because you're going to need to spend a lot of time with it. Uh, it has to be uh, become a friend and not an enemy. I mean, you want to look forward to your guitar lessons. Hey, you know, I, I, I enjoy it every time I pick up my guitars. When I see my guitars, I get a good feeling. I don't get a bad feeling. I like it, you know. And I'm always learning. Even after 40 years of playing, I'm still learning new stuff today. So it can be a journey in your life. So pick out a choose your friend wisely. Uh, something you might want to consider, you might not have thought about, is the width. I know everybody says pick them up and feel them, but you might not really know what you're looking for. What am I? What am I feeling for? Well, for one thing, the width of the nut is going to be important to the size of your hand, and that means this this little black bar here is the nut. And um, 
This is 1 and 11 sixteenths. And I think that's about average. Um, in millimeters, let's see, 1 and 3 quarters in millimeters would be uh, 1.75. So anything larger than 1.75 is getting on the wide side. Anything below um, 1 and 11 sixteenths. I picked up a Luna guitar the other day. I thought it was a nice guitar. The neck was, the width of the neck was 1 and 5 eighths. Now most of the time if you go to the website, the manufacturers of the guitars, that's something that they're going to list on there that you want to look at to give you some kind of idea as to how wide the nut is on the neck. The neck can also change further up, but that's this uh, change width as it goes further up. But as a, as a beginner, most beginners are, are more suited to um, playing at the top of the neck to start with. And also, the, the thickness of the neck in this direction has a lot to do with how it feels. So this is a C-shaped neck. It's very, comfortable. it's very comfortable to play. It's not too thick. And um, I think that the Fender Squire has a similar neck. Let me show you this. This particular resonator guitar is very much like an acoustic. If you think you might want to eventually play some slide, or if you just like the sound of the resonator, it's a little bit louder. Um, you might want to consider a resonator type guitar. It can be set up just like most acoustics. This particular neck has a, a soft V shape, where. Um, so, I mean, it's something you don't see every day. It's something you don't feel every day. I know, um, I think that the, the high-end Fender Eric Clapton version has a soft V-shaped neck. Probably not something you're going to be looking at as your first guitar. But there's nothing wrong with the V-shape. See if it's comfortable. See if it's comfortable to your hand, how it feels. Uh, pick up go to your local shop and pick up some guitars and just hold them, you can just strum them, see how they feel, see if there's some sort of connection that you know that you make with that guitar. Um, also, when, if you decide to purchase an acoustic guitar, uh, a lot of times the shop will, the local shop or, or anywhere that you purchase them, um, that you're there in person, will set them up for you when you first purchase them uh, and uh, they might say well you know it has light strings on it and that sounds pretty good light strings yeah keep in mind they also make extra light strings and that's one point that I wanted to bring up is that um, I like to put extra light strings on some of my acoustics it makes them a little easier to, to um, a little easier to play. The extra light strings are smaller. They're closer to what you would get on an, an electric. Have it set up with the with the uh, the extra light strings. Uh, tuning problems. Sometimes with less expensive guitars, you can run into tuning problems. Um, the tuners. Let me say the tuners should turn smoothly. It should be easy to t to tune uh, to go up and down. They, these. Uh, these are your tuners right here. They should be easy to turn and turn smoothly. That's that's what I look for in a tuner. If I feel like I'm fighting to t turn a tuner, and, you know, I might look at something else that's got a little bit better tuners on it. That's one area that uh, the less expensive guitars are gonna they're gonna cut some corners on the tuners. Um, also on the nut. Uh, the nut here, uh, the material the nut's made out of, well, it's not just the material, but it's the time and the way that it was slotted. Sometimes you'll notice when you're tuning your guitar, you might you might hear a popping sound right up here, like the string mix, or the, or you might notice on your tuner, uh, you're sit, sitting at the um, at the guitar shop and you've asked for a tuner so you can tune your guitar, and um, it jumps from flat to sharp so you're tuning it you know and it's, it's trying to um, you're trying to get it up there and you're trying to get it up to that 
to that mark and then all of a sudden it'll jump and go past where you want it that's an indication that it's the strings are sticking in the nut and that's that's not a good sign that's a sign that that the, the slots are not the nut was not slotted properly and it's a, it, there's a would be a good bet that you would have tuning problems the, the guitar would likely go out of tune on you while you were playing it a bit so it's very important to um, that the nut be slotted properly. Now that's something that a luthier um, can take care of. Uh, they can fix. They can put a new nut on a guitar for about fifty dollars. But uh, so if you shop locally, which I would recommend, ask ask the store, ask your local music store. Who repairs their guitars? What's the name of the luthier that repairs their guitars? And talk to him and say, hey, you know, I'm looking at playing this type of music. Uh, if I bring you a guitar, would, how much would you charge me to look at it? Most of the time, they're not going to charge you anything just to look at it and give you their opinion on it. Um, or if you know someone, someone that plays a lot of music that's, that's been around guitars a lot, you know, ask them to look at it and see what they think. You know, a lot of times at some of the bigger, at the bigger uh, department stores, uh, you're looking at a guitar and um, one of the salespeople will pick it up, you know, and they'll start playing something kind of fancy on it and you hand it back to you and you're like, well, okay, you can play it. Well, let me tell you that most experienced guitar players can make some of the worst guitars sound good. So, don't let that... Don't let them persuade. Don't let them persuade you into anything. Make make sure it's your decision as to what you want, and make sure that you're able to to have someone you trust look at it. It's an instrument that you you need to spend some time with, and you need to be happy with. All right. Um. I hope that covers uh, some of the things, some of the questions you might have. If you have any other questions whatsoever, please. Um, Send me an email through YouTube or uh, below the below the video. Ask me a question. If there's anything I can help you with, I'll be more than happy. I'm JD, and this is Stepping Stone Guitar Studio. Thanks.